at the IS meeting here in Paris, and we're here with Paul Schaefer from Merck Pharmaceuticals, and I wanted to make sure that we, you know, we're kind of talking about the history of, of AIDS and, and then where, where we got to where we are and what you're doing today. Okay. So tell us a, bit, a little bit about your organizational history, if we can, so we can shape what it is that your organization has done. Sure, sure. Well, Merck has been engaged in HIV from very early on, mm -hmm. um, so for over 30 years. Uh, starting with uh, work on uh, identifying uh, protease, um, I, um, developing one of the first protease inhibitors, mm -hmm. uh, indinavir, launched uh, in 1996. After that, Merck worked on uh, a large HIV vaccine um, program um, that unfortunately was not successful, but so Merck has worked on both the prevention and the treatment side, launching a number of important drugs, including indinavir, um, was critical in, in the work on efavirenz, um, and then the first integrase inhibitor. So looking backward, we've had important uh, contributions. Looking forward, we continue to be actively engaged in, in R&D and in uh, HIV, both in therapeutics, looking at cure. Um, we have a couple of new uh, drugs uh, that should be um, uh, moving forward towards approval uh, in the next year, and then exciting new compounds in, uh, for the future. Mm -hmm. the, the, as you mentioned, the first drugs, and you were one of two, there was Norvir and yours. Yes. And, and the, the Norvir was like gasoline. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like gasoline. We forget. What can we take this with? It was yeah. chocolate, applesauce. Whatever you could, and then yours. Well, and unfortunately, they had the they had the crystallization problem, and so you with had to yours, move. So well, no, with the Norvir, Norvir, then you had to actually take the liquid. You couldn't oh, right, take right. the capsules right, right, anymore. Right. So well, exactly. That was so, bigger. But that problem. evolved, yeah. and 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 we, but but yours was like very strict time concerns. It was. I think the label was every eight hours. It was Q8. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't even not, three not, times a day. It no, was, it was Q8. every eight hours. Yeah. Yes. So it was then, very. Yeah. And then you also had these stones, which you had to do. Yes. Deal with, so. so it was. So you know, drink a lot of water. Drink so. a lot of water. Yeah. Exactly. But but those days are gone. Yes. You know, those Thankfully, days are gone. Now, we, we, now we moved on and we moved into drugs that are much less um, problematic. Much less problematic. Yeah, I think we've moved from you know the early drugs, which were really about you know saving people's lives. That really, that really, um, you know, it was an emergency situation. And yes. now we have the, the really the luxury of yeah. looking at how can we create yeah. new drugs that are more tolerable, yeah. that are easier to take. Yeah. Not every eight hours, but you know how. I think we're talking soon. We're looking at drugs now that are how how many days between uh, right, 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 doses right. can we potentially have? I mean, obviously right now the standard is, um, you know, uh, single tablet regimens or once a day regimens, but, you know, we're looking forward, we're hoping to, to have, you know, with cabotegravir, we're looking at, you know, a shot for every few months, and, you know, who knows what the technology will bring us over the next several years. But that you're invested in the, in the field is really important to the community to know, and to everyone living with this disease to know that we actually are moving in a direction that is going to end up with maybe another drug down the line. And well, I think Merck is really proud to be one of the few companies that it remains actively engaged in HIV, mm -hmm. R&D, and I think we're really excited about the new compounds that we have. I think here at this conference, we presented data on um, a new drug, 8591, which um, I think is very exciting possibilities for the future. We also presented data on a new and an RTI that um, hopefully will address issues um, of tolerability with some of the current NNRTIs, um, as well as uh, offering you know, efficacy. So as we look forward, I think we're looking to bring more um, advances that really bring HIV to the point where it really is kind of just this background thing in people's lives, but it doesn't define them, it doesn't inhibit them, it's just, you know, we offer treatments that just make it a part of daily life that is, is right. There's not There's a lot of defining. pills I take that are not HIV, and they're, they're, all of them are innocuous in my book, but uh, some people have problems, but I am not personally dealing with any kind of problems. But it certainly isn't an injection yet, and, and they're looking at injections, which maybe will change things as well. But meantime, we have, we have treatment, so now is the time people need to get on. If, you, if there was ever a moment that someone thought that maybe they didn't need it because 
one thing or another. Treatment is much better to be on than to be waiting for. Well, and thankfully, guidelines have changed. So mm-hmm. you know, we've had, as we've had the evolution of the drugs, we've had evolution of the guidelines. So thankfully, we're no longer at 200 and below, or 350 and below, or 500 and below. You know, it's really as as everyone. As soon as you know, it's it's yeah. it's good to get on. And I hope I think it's you know we have the drugs now that allow that. Um, and I think you know Merck is happy to be um, one of the companies that is working to bring those medicines and to look forward to bringing new medicines um, that will make that even easier for patients. Thank you very much. Thank for your you time. very for much. Taking time away from the conference. My pleasure. Great.